Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and duty to welcome you to this historic occasion that sees the launching of the national plan. Today we are making history. We have a draft plan that charts a 20 years path towards achieving the overarching vision embedded in our constitution. This is a plan geared to helping us realize our construction and development goals. And in this regard, through the Constitution and its preamble, we have already committed to improving the quality of life of all citizens, freeing the potential of each person, building a united and democratic South Africa able to take its rightful place as a sovereign state in the family of nations, now it's up to the rest of us to read, refine the plan and contribute to making the objectives of the plan and the 2030 vision a reality. We thank these uh, brave men and women, these commissioners for their hard work. It is now up to us as citizens to engage with this plan, to improve it, and then for cabinet to adopt it. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much to the Honorable Deputy President. We're now going to move into the watching the animation. 600,000 left of Tandis Group by the time they sat to write grade 12. 13% attained education sufficient to get them into university and a further 12% allowing them to enter a college to do a diploma. So it's a very small 25% of those who start have the opportunity to, to take things further. I tried. I tried to do more with less. I was a slow learner but a hard worker. I was the only one at home. My mother got sick and I had to make a plan. I asked every child at school to give me one grand. Some ignored me and said I'm crazy, but I wasn't worried. I was worried of my mother. Some gave me their food and money. I ate the food and saved the money so I can take my mother to the hospital. I was a slow learner, but I tried. I was a slow learner. But a hard worker, all slow learners can work hard and make it to the top. Believe in yourself and in your dreams. The sky is not even there. The mandate of the commission was, uh, I think the deputy president has already touched on this. Uh, and the President inaugurated the Commission on the 11th of May last year. It's exactly 18 months to the day. Uh, and, and the mandate that he gave us was to deal with these issues in a period of 18 months. So the report takes account of that. Uh, the Commission, very importantly, is advisory. Uh, the report that we delivered today is advisory to government, but also, very importantly, advisory to all of South Africa uh, on how we will take this. Forward. This, this issue is taken forward with a set of proposals about state-owned enterprises, including clear publicly available mandates setting out public interest, cleaning up the government structures and appointments, and clearly de delineating responsibilities for state-owned enterprises between government departments. And we also are paying attention to the way in which the police service needs to be professionalized dual track recruitment and putting in place a code of conduct to enforce discipline. I'm going to ask now the Minister, the Honourable Minister of National Planning, to now, we move now from the English Chair of the Planning Commission, is now taking over as the Honourable Minister of National Planning in the Presidency for him to do the honors on our behalf in terms of 
handing over our report to the Honorable President of the Republic of South Africa. I hand over to you, Minister. Mr. Mr. President, uh, this is the first copy of the plan, the first and the second copies. We're giving it to you. We need, uh, I think, given the way in which we're sweating this afternoon, uh, we need it just as a copy in case. Ladies and gentlemen, We gathered here today to receive the National Development Plan for the year 2030, which outlines how we can achieve a prosperous society for our country in 20 years' time. The release of this plan is a culmination of work that began in 2009 when we established the National Planning Commission in the presidency. I know that you all worked around the clock to meet the deadline of delivering the plan on the 11th of the 11th month in 2011. We look forward to working with you in refining the plan until it is adopted and the implementation starts. Well done, colleagues. I'm sure I thank you on behalf of the nation. And goals, rear care. Thank you.